In our previous videos, we have talked a lot about the importance of A-B testing. And to get the best out of uh, your e-commerce business, you have to test different things and constantly be iterating to get to the next level. Now, remember also that your users are unique and you can't just blindly copy zero practices that you've seen from your competitors or some design trends or things like that. that uh, doesn't mean that they're going to work for you, even though you see others implementing that. The key here is to test, of course, if you can, and uh, be smart about the things that you do. And here, AP testing will be very, very useful for that particular purpose. Now, to run a successful AP test, you generally need three things. You do need to define your key performance indicators, your KPIs. That means that uh, you know what you want to measure when you are launching the test. Then secondly, you need to have access to data and uh, clean data. Now this is uh, kind of included in the AP test because you are already running it. You can measure whether it's successful or not. And third, and this is what we're covering in this video, you will need an AP testing tool to run these experiments. So this will be where you will both run it but also measure the success. And in this video, we are focusing on that. So top three AP testing tools recommended by us. We have both free and paid, and uh, we can uh, dive into the differences of those. But if you are not yet familiar with me, I am Samuel Larson. I am the founder of zerogurus.com. I have run hundreds of AP tests along my seven year career for dozens of merchants. And I think uh, you're gonna like what I have to say in this video. Like this video though, subscribe to the channel and share it if you like this kind of content and let's jump into it. I'm going to do this on a screen share so that we can keep it super practical. So here we are with the screen share and the first tool I'm going to talk about is Google Optimize. Now this is by far the most famous and used tool when it comes to A-B testing. And stick around by the way because we're going to have a couple of paid tools. But I'm going to have a very interesting Shopify related tool at the end, which uh, allows you to test uh, in a bit of a different way than these other platforms. Now, typically when we run tests, we use uh, Google Optimize because with Google Optimize, you can uh, run those pretty simple tests and it is free to run. Whereas with the others, you often do hit a little bit of a pricing wall and it can uh, get quite expensive. Now, one funny thing with Google Optimize is that they really don't really promote the platform. It's uh, been very much the same for years. However, it has the things that you need. And there you can run different testing types. You can run A-B tests, redirect tests, multivariate tests, or something probably shouldn't, but you can. And uh, it allows for personalization as well. So you can make a decision basically that the users from Italy will get uh, redirected to the Italian site and these kinds of things. There are also limitations to the tool. So you can only run a few different tests at the same time. So the limit is five. And uh, then also you will be limited to 20 variant pages at once. So if you wanted to test uh, different product pages, typically you'd be limited to 20 different product pages. And uh, that might be an issue for some. So there to get around those limitations, Google Optimize has an enterprise version as well, but that is very expensive and typically only reserved for like really, really, really big stores. So for that, if you are running into the issues, you will be able to then use some of the paid tools that uh, enable you to do more. Here, it's important to understand that uh, Getting the best out of this tool requires someone who knows the platform because uh, you would sometimes need to set up these advanced tracking features that can be a little bit more technical than usual. And you will not have the support helping you because it is a free tool. It is not uh, supported by Google in terms of chat or email. So you are pretty much on your own when it comes to these uh, different things. It links naturally to Google Analytics. So Google Analytics is what handles all the measurement. And then you can put different objectives and uh, different settings here. So you really don't have that much settings here. It's the easiest platform in my view to learn. 
However, you do need to learn it because then you will be self-reliant. All right, next one. We're going to go over convert.com. So this one, in my view, is the best of the paid tools. I've seen a lot of the agencies that I've worked with use this tool. And generally, they are very happy with the support it provides and the different types of tests that you can run with this tool. Now, with this tool, though, you do need to understand that the pricing starts from $699, I think. So there's uh, annual options and uh, there they probably bumped it up a little bit lately. So currently it seems like it's uh, 979 USD. Oh, you have the growth version that you can use. It's a little bit of a weird pricing page, really. <laughs> but yes, you can use this version. You can see all the different elements here. Come to the pricing page if you are interested to learn more. It allows for all the other things that uh, Google Optimize allows for, split testing. However, you do have more variations than uh, Google Optimize and basically more freedom. Often also with the Visual Builder, the Visual Builder is a little bit better than with Google Optimize. So you can uh, basically edit your site within that Visual Builder and it works a lot better. So there, like if you wanted to save, uh, um, use a different button color, for example, you could easily just uh, use that. And here, it's also one thing that uh, it is quite focused on merchants that have multiple sites. So 10 active domains, then you can have uh, a lot between those different domains. So generally, like, it's helpful if you have several sites, because then it starts to be quite a bit more affordable. That one and also has some really extensive uh, integrations but uh, yeah generally like not the best if you are running only one site next up is the good old this used to be a legend in the optimization industry i think now they have fallen a little bit behind competition but they are still a very very solid tool and that is optimizely at uh, optimizely.com now this tool generally best for enterprise businesses and these also come with enterprise level budgets but also enterprise level features so whenever you see this request for pricing typically means it is quite expensive because they know that they want to go through a salesperson to sell this however if you are having an enterprise business or you're on an enterprise CRO agent in your business or a digital marketing manager consider this option as well never hurts to request that pricing and uh, you can have that uh, like competing versus your different options so these are three different uh, tools very different actually when it comes to how they are targeting customers one great thing with optimized is that you will be able to run multi-page funnel tests where you change something on the home page see how that affects on the product page that kind of thing so say you wanted to test a different discount site-wide. You could do that with Optimizely and you can have that experience be consistent on that. Also, as a great visual editor, they have had a chance to really build it and make it a good one over the years. A lot of budget has been put into that. So it is better than the Google Optimizers one. And on par, I'd say with convert.com, if not a little bit better. Also, they have a ton of targeting and segmentation options. So you can really do a lot with this one. You can also import third party data. However, generally very costly to run this. So I haven't seen companies really join them anymore that much. Or like if they do join, they tend to use the tool for a little bit of a shorter time. And there you just try to maximize the amount of value you get from it. Okay, I did mention that there's a bonus tool coming up. So that's the Theme Scientist. It's a Shopify app and it's quite a new one. And here, the general idea with this app is that it changes themes every midnight or at like a preset time. And with that one, you will be able to see theme performance of one theme versus another. It has some other attributes, like you can test different product images and see what happens. Because these kinds of tests are quite difficult to set up 
of it, uh, the testing tools, just because it's a, a product level test. And then you have uh, these kinds of things where, okay, you can see that theme is changed daily, and then you can see conversion percentages for those themes. And that way you can pretty easily test sidewide without getting an expensive A-B testing tool or being a wizard when it comes to testing. So you have this option here. And generally, I think this is a pretty good one. Of course, not all days are equal. So for example, you might have a payment day for people or they are more likely to go shopping and reward themselves. So there is a little bit of that kind of thing that you need to be aware of. One nice thing with this one though, is that it's very easy to use. And also it is cheap compared to the other tools that are paid, paying 30 bucks a month for stores doing a thousand plus orders per month. It's really inexpensive and there's no sort of pricing of, uh, okay, pay for increased sales type of thing, which uh, often can be a bit of a turnoff for bigger stores. So that's something to put into the consideration stack. I like the seamlessness of it and uh, the ability to use it directly from Shopify admin and that like easy to use AP testing setup for Shopify particularly. And uh, the theme scheduler is an interesting feature as well. So that's that. Uh, now questions of course are, is it worth investing into AP testing tools? I'd say generally you'd want to keep your budget quite contained until you have been able to prove that A-B testing can provide you results. So there's no reason to go beyond these simpler tools like Google Optimize or Team Scientist until you start seeing returns in one of these tools. If you cannot get returns with uh, Optimize or Team Scientist, you probably cannot get results with the more fancier tools and the fancier tools also often have a little bit of a longer learning curve. So that's uh, a consideration definitely. And uh, here, one thing to consider with uh, these free tools that kind of speaks against them, is that often you would uh, have to have the technical skills to do it. However, it's not that complicated. And there's a lot of people that have uh, figured it out. So there's a lot of people that can help you, including us. If you are interested in our help, go to crocorus.com for us last apply, and we can take a look at your case to see if uh, that would be interesting for us and also beneficial for you. And uh, there you are making the trade-off of, uh, okay, I need to invest a little bit of my time, but on the other hand, you do save that monetary investment. Now, a great alternative in general for figuring out these testing tools is to hire or work with a CR agency. And uh, that is uh, what we do all day, every day, help merchants get the most out of their existing e-commerce traffic. So. Very much appreciate it if you are interested in the service. If not, subscribe to the channel anyway, because uh, there's a lot of free stuff here on this uh, channel. It is built very much like a course. I don't have anything to sell you except, uh, of course, the agency services, but uh, feel free to take the value for free if uh, you are not yet at that level. Like the video if you got value out of this. Hopefully you got a lot of clarity on it. And uh, then I look forward to seeing you on the next videos. Cheers.